Welcome to Spam Filter for Your Brain. My name's Anna, Heard in London, and I'm here to try and help people find creative solutions to reconnect to their bodies and their minds. And I don't believe that we should just magically know all of this stuff about our emotions and our lives and our well-being if no one ever teaches us. So let's try and learn this stuff together. It seems apt that the first thing that I speak about on this podcast is the idea of showing up for yourself. I'm a photographer who works to help people get their sense of self back, to help them see their bodies as worthy, to see themselves as worthy of taking up space, and to be able to see themselves through the eyes of someone who sees them with respect and compassion and sees all of their magic. And I think if I was to summarise my capacity as a photographer is to be able to look at, be with someone in a room and see them as the most incredible, amazing human being. And because that is how I see people as I walk through the world, obviously holding a very expensive bit of glass and aluminium in front of my face and clicking a button and capturing that comes easily to me because that's how I view people. And seeing yourself looked at with that amount of respect and love and compassion is such a different story than the story that a lot of us tell ourselves when we look into the mirror. And what's also really important about having photographs of yourself taken by someone who is showing you respect is that you see so many different facets of yourself. We are very prone to looking in the mirror with a particular mindset, with a particular set of judgments, with a particular story that we're attached to it. And we, what we don't see is all of the other angles of our face and all of the other things that probably all the people who know and love us very well are used to seeing those little expressions that they might catch or those little mannerisms that you've never even noticed about yourself because we don't observe ourselves that much. And I think that the idea of having <laughs> have a very, very unscientific view of the world, um, I have this a general idea that people are able to make slightly more confident life choices when they have photographs of themselves where they think that they look a bit hot. And I urge you to look at spaces you can create more visions of yourself where you're able to look at yourself with respect Obviously, if you're in London, come and have a photo shoot with me. But wherever you are in the world, wherever you are in in your life, if there are people around you who see you with the kind of love and compassion that you would wish to see yourself, ask them to take some pictures of you. See See what they can see that you can't. Because the more of us that show up for ourselves, the more of us that allow ourselves to be seen the more of ourselves the more of us who are willing to put ourselves out there the more people who look a little bit like us might have a chance of feeling like they are seen and like they're worthy of taking our space I'm sure nearly everybody listening to this would definitely have benefited from someone who looked a bit like them being in a prominent position of respect and adoration and love and care when they were growing up when you were growing up and formulating your own opinions about what the world looked like imagine if there was just a huge variety of people who were able to feel welcome and cherished and worthy of respect how different the world would look and I want you to take accountability for your place in that because if this big old variety of people who are out there being seen, whether it is on billboards or on television or showing up on social media or just being welcome on the cover of books, wherever they are, if that doesn't include you, you are excluding an element of faces, body shapes, abilities, skin tones and maybe insecurities. (laughs) from the bigger picture here and there is absolutely no doubt in my mind at all that you showing up will just crack open a tiny glimpse of light of a doorway of someone who looks a little bit like you or relates to you in some way that makes them feel like there is some possibility for them to feel welcome too.
So I urge you to think of opportunities where you could take that brave, brave step of showing up to be seen because the more of us who are seen, the more of us who feel welcome. I hope that that's been useful and I hope that you have a beautiful week. Don't take, don't forget to take some time out for some self-care. If you're enjoying what you're hearing on the podcast here, I would love to invite you to self-care school. Self-care school is a membership site where we have group coaching calls every week. We have a whole load of courses that you can dip into for whatever suits your needs. We have courses on confidence, body image, um, timekeeping, how to manage big emotions, um, overwhelm, loads and loads of stuff in there. You can kind of pick out whatever you want to work on. There is a big library of workbooks, which includes journal prompts and questions for you to be able to apply this work to your own life. And we we have the most amazing community where people support each other. We learn from each other and you get to work alongside people with quite often very different life situations to your own and we learn so much together in community if you would like some more of this please do hop over to selfcareschool.co.uk